his head, and there he goes. A fist gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. That's a kill. Grizzly with the quad feet gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. And welcome back, Saints, to game two of the best of three versus Chamberlain Co University or college? I believe. College. 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 Yes. And we're going to be starting this off on Oregon. Not one of uh, one of our proudest maps, to say the least, but we'll uh, definitely be putting in our best to try and pull a victory. Ooh. In interesting ban this time we're gonna go with the thatcher and they're actually gonna take out the ace instead of uh anything else i'm interested as to why you'd specifically take care of the ace on this map over the others but uh sean Plain must have something up their sleeve here as we see the mirror get banned out once again no real surprise there nobody really likes dealing with this operator now one more on the site yeah, of St. Clair. Yeah, it's going to be St. Clair's final ban. Let's see what they want to take out. It's going to be that Cade, one of the classic bans they do. And now we start the next six rounds of Chamberlain's attack. Yes, yes, that's right. So, yeah, so St. Clair's starting off on the defensive side of things, which in theory shouldn't mean they're a little bit more comfortable here. But, and of course does not mean anything. We've seen them basically in this position again last night and did not exactly go into their favor, but we'll have to see if the Ella looking like it's going to come out again for Big Papa unless that gets six over. One thing to note as well, the Maluzi did get through picks and bans. So how I was making the comments that fewer might have been making a uh, making a case to maybe try and get rid of the Maluzi. But it's not going to be the case. Charles is going to pick it up and try to make it work for himself this time by. Yeah, and this is going to be a pretty standard start here again and in that kids' room. Um, they did swap over to the Hibana for a six pick, so it's most likely going to try and be that repeat of yesterday's games um, where they make the small little hole that you can run into in that uh, pool room. A little arcade by closet and then have, have a rotate on bridge but only time will tell and we'll see how the Ella and the rest of St. Clair will do yeah one of the big things you know is the Ella always comes out on these organ so one of Big Papa's comfort picks I guess Right along with Fury here to start things off, considering how much of a madman he has been so far in this series. Looking forward to seeing what he pulls off with this Ash this time by on this first attack, as he's basically split off from his entire team. Hey, you're just gonna, you're just going really hard. He's taking a spot on that cam there as he takes it out, but he's just really taking over full control of this tower not afraid of really anything he, he knows he'll take any gunfight he wants and possibly even win it so he's going to prepare with this maverick to take control of the um bridge most likely go maverick trick it throw a couple nades in there so they knock anyone back so he can't get a shot while he's breaking the wall it's gonna be a nice little maverick trick coming across it's looking like the Habana's gonna kind of break the wall a bit. It's gonna be enough to go through the last little charge there. They don't have anyone nearby. Take out the Maestro Cam on the wall. But Cyanide really close on this person in Master. Or in uh, Trophy Room, my mistake. With only a minute and 30 seconds remaining. This is. A pretty good uh, start for the side of Champlin. Yeah, if you were getting himself a little bit lit up as we get ready to move on forward here, like we were saying, minute 30 or so left on the clock. Ben B. Bullen, of course, looking to get started with that fragging, and he's going to start off strong, going to find impact to get this game going. First blood of the game. 
And now the rest of the squad get ready to get moving. Minute left on the clock. And Defense and Fewer are both popping off. It's going to be another scary game, let alone the fact that we're here on oh. Oregon. But a nice little shot coming out here from Big Papa. Gets himself a double as well. Kira is the first one down in this next engagement. Big Papa going to be short to follow. Three on three. And I'll make that actually a three on two because technically Kira is down but not out. Going to be finished off in just a moment. Cool. Oh. Uh, Zebek's going to find him there. Yeah, and I don't think they can actually get to that closet. They're hard pinging on top of uh, Char's there, and he gets taken out. So I've got the zombie dude, but he doesn't see fewer through the wall, and it's going to be round one going over. Yeah. yeah. And as you can see in the closet, there's a bit unfortunate. The Habana just barely wasn't able to get the full wall, so they had to do a rotate through, but in the end, still coming through, and round one going over the Champlain. And actually, in this matchup here for game number two, in the last one, we had ourselves a bit of a poll in the Twitch chat, of course, who is going to be the one with the higher KDA between Chars and Impact. This, or game one, went to Impact. However, now for game number two, we're going to have the same battle, but this time it's going to be up against Chars and Akira, who's going to have the top KDA, or the better KDA of the two. As right now, they both started off uh, getting Defender themselves dinks nice and, and uh, early, or not early in the round, in about the middle, middle of the round. So, it'll be a nice even battle. Let's see uh, who will go on the spree on the Saints side of things. Get yourself some You know, points. it's totally possible they could just both go 0 and 7 or something, and then just both pull off triple kills. So, but what happens if they both win? Does everyone get channel points? You're making me think too hard about this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta think about every possible outcome. Absolutely, as we get ready with this second round right around the corner. Of course, Champlain starting off strong, taking the first W. And let's see if they can make this happen again here on this next site. Fewer, of course, just... Always finds himself on the kill feed, and Zebek actually got himself to that round as well, so solid round for him as well. And Kira's down again. Oh, Hello, Zebek. No. Kira, I think he was trying to spawn peek or something there, and just got picked off through a little hole in the uh, doorway and master. It was really unfortunate. That's just going to be uh, the wall going open as long as the meat jammer. Nope, meat jammer doesn't even hit it. That's just going to be closet uh, wall just opening within the first 30 seconds. Yeah, some big moves here for Champlain as they get ready to move forward. Of course, they're going to just drone everybody out. Cyanide taking a little bit of heat from below, I believe. Going to be just fine, however. Get himself back into the fight. Wilhelm from outside. Eyes on that B site has those uh, um, Zafia nades ready to go. And yeah, viewer, he's in, in range to engage here. And he's, they know where he is, and if he peeks up, he's most likely just going to lose his head. Oh, viewer actually taking the worst end of the trade from uh, Impact there. But the ADS can take out it, out the one that charges, and the Goyo Trap popping. And we'll see going down, it's going to be then be Bullen possibly getting caught. C4 going out from. One of them, Impact, finding Wilhelm. Wow. That's going to be Zombie Dude taken out from a distance. Zebek finding Big Pop of as well. It's going to be a 2v4. Make that a 1v4 as fewer finding Impact. Char is finding it on the fewer, but there's a ma uh, Maverick right in front of you. That's going to be round two going over to Oof. Uh, Chamberlain. Yeah, appropriate, <laughs> appropriate action there for Ben Bibulin as Saints were definitely feeling the burn as of right now with... Uh, that being basically the seventh round in a row, if we include the rounds from last game that uh, Champlain College have won. Definitely hurting a little bit moving forward into this matchup. Now Saints going to try to launch a room and see what they can do. Yeah, they've just kind of given up on that master not being able to hold it really, so going to try something different. They're going to take the Habana again, most likely thinking they're going into that uh, kid's room, but either way, still a good pick uh, because you can open this freezer up a bit. But 
gonna be uh the same i believe on the side of st Clair and of champlin no one changing around big papa taking it ella once again usually once the ella doesn't work out too well he switches over to that goyo but then they go back to the ella and hold on this blue uh, a spot with that shield there Yeah, attack for round number three, just about underway here. And now, like we, in the last matchup, we did see Ben be booming. We've seen fewer. We've seen them pop off. And now you're adding some back into this uh, equation as well. And then you still just have the support from Wilhelm and Cyanide as well. Sure, we're not calling their name out as much, but they're the ones droning. They're the ones like with all the intel and like keeping everybody six checked and. In that regard, too, of course, they're doing fantastic, even though it may not show up as uh, as obvious on the scoreboard side of things. But this John Plain squad just looking absolutely scary right now for St. Clair as they look to get ready to uh, defend this basement. And they're going to be uh, Ben in the main lobby there trying to take out some uh, traps and... Ooh, it's actually been a zombie dude going down the fewer. He's actually just straight up pushing okay. in this freezer. Takes out impact as well. And if he peeks this corner, he's gonna find Charis along with it. Charis getting a bit cocky and pushing up. But I believe Fewer may know he's there. And he does. He finds Charis oh. make that triple, but actually he doesn't even finish him off. The box saving his life. Big Papa finding the refrag and getting it down again. That's gonna be a double kill for Kira. Good time for Kira to show up here. It's now just Sebek and Cyanide left on the side of Champlain, but they are getting rather close to this site. We do see Big Papa right around the corner. Shots fired, but no contact made. Charles is still rather low. Kira taking a little bit of heat as well, but nothing too crazy. Cyanide, he hasn't been exactly known for his fragging ability as of yet here in this game. Doesn't mean he can't pop off right here right now. He still has plenty of time. Zebek actually going to be taking the long way around, and it looks like Cyanide going to do the same. Try and chase his partner, bring the buddy system, and maybe take a different angle of attack. Zebek is making his presence rather known, however. And sure enough, like the good support he is, Cyanide instantly drones in there. Does spot the one player. Does he want to try and go for the 1v1? It would be a little bit ballsy, but he could possibly pull it off. We'll see in just a second. I think that's Kira right in front of him. Yeah, and if he drops, he's just going to instantly get popped unless his flashbang fully blinds Kira. And I don't think there's anyone watching on that B-bomb there, but with 30 seconds left, Cyanide dropping. And there's Kira watching. It's going to be... Um, oh, nice C4 coming in from Char's. That's gonna tie it up, and it's gonna be Kira taking it uh, out. Cyanide making it St. Clair's first round, ending a 7 0 drought in rounds. Alright, now let's hope that for the side of the hometown squad here, that that's not the only round they get all series. Or not all series, but all, all game here for game number two. Because how many times have we seen this happen where within the first three rounds, they'll get one, but then that's it. So. Hopefully, as they look forward to going back to the kids' room on defense, they can keep this ball rolling. And the fact that Fewer and Ben Bubulin both went down pretty quick. And Fewer was so close, actually, to getting himself that triple. But as he whipped out the pistol, I think that was Kira who, who came around Ooh. the corner and got him there. And we're going to see the Ella come back once again, switching away from the Goyo. I liked it though, he was six picking Goyo into Goyo. It's the masterful disguise they'll never expect. But they're gonna go back to this kids. They don't really want to go downstairs to kitchen or uh, rear stage. So, gonna try this kids for the third time in the last four rounds that's happened. The only success being last round on that basement defense but big papa and kira really coming in clutch for the team and picking up three kills separate or two kills on big papa and three on kira attackers must locate and defuse a bomb all right jump lane let's see what you have this time by we ride along with fear for just the moment we get this attack underway. It's always fewer just all by himself. Everybody else takes one way. 
and he goes by his lonesome and does an absolute tear. And you can tell he seems rather confident here on this map just by how quickly the uh, players know where all these cameras are. That's interesting. He's making his presence known, but he's not going to be able to get through that. <laughs> I, I wonder how Impax is reacting to hearing this sledge just slapping on the wall from the other side there. Just so confused, but... It's going to be a uh, Maverick on the wall now, taking it out, but it's going to be Impact actually going down the Fuhrer from below. The own trap door that he had open going against him, and that's going to be Bridge just wide open now. Oh, and Saints have to be careful. Fuhrer has himself an entry. A nice nade, however, coming out, going to destroy a lot of the health bars of Ben and uh, Fuhrer. Then Cyanide, he's going to find his first one of the game. He found Big Papa. Zombie dude getting a little bit pressured here, forced to avoid the flashbang and run back around. And I see that Aluzi charge, gonna get rid of that nice and quick, and now there's still five left and th two Saints left as Zombie dude does go down. Charge and Kira to try and hold this off. It's going to be an odd slot though, with one minute 30 seconds left. Yeah, it's gonna be Charles going down as well to Wilhelm, find himself a double. Room. That's gonna be Kira finding Zebek through the floorboards. Diffuser is actually down now because the back had it, but Cyanide able to recover it. Kira not able to hold it from below, and Kira's gonna have to find this flank back up the main stairs. Diffuser going down in kids. Kira not knowing where many members are as the Harpings aren't there. That's gonna be a little one tap to the head. Ben be bullying with the shot. Holy Just ready for him to come in. Oh, as soon as his shoulder. Just one bullet. Just sees the clip of his helmet. That's one bullet. Fantastic reaction time. Fantastic shot there from Ben B. Bulin. It's going to force St. Clair now to try and make the kitchen work. And I'm not so sure how I feel about this site as we're basically one more round away from halftime. And we were talking a little bit prior to the game getting started, and I'm like, I don't know, I, I you know how much I hate the Saints on Oregon. I'm, I'm worried that it's going to be 5-1 at the half, and it's kind of on pace to really be that if Saints can't pull one more at least out on this defense. <laughs> yeah, and it's really looking like last game as well. They lose that first round, come back second, and then they lose the next few until halftime. And hopefully the Saints can find their footing on this site. I do like this impact finally getting off that mute and going onto the bandit. It's kind of what they've needed. They the mute uh not having much of an impact as as ironic as it is. Um he just the meat jammers aren't as effective as ban charges can be. And uh in in the long run uh you do get more utility out of it so Hoping to see some good stuff coming out of the swap up from Impact. Yeah, because I was interested, like, yes, the mute jammers like us, you also get rid of, uh, whatchamacallit, we do have somebody getting, uh, DC'd here, and it was right as the round was supposed to begin, so Saints, as if they need any other trouble, this round is going to be played out four on five possible rehosts after this one, so we'll have to see momentarily. If Saints can manage to pull this one back, but that is definitely rough to say the least. You were already in an engagement down in the uh, in the first floor area, but no one really going down as of yet. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's really unlucky that they lose that one player raised round start, because if it happened before, they possibly could have got a rehost, got that player. But Fuhrer, knowing that it's a 4v5, just getting really cocky and pushing up here. And he's going to get some damage down to Big Papa there. Not able to finish anything off. It's gonna be him on half HP along with Big Papa. Zombie dude doing some da getting some damage taken to him through the Maverick hole. Nades thrown right on top of him. He can't really move anywhere and is just gonna keep lobbing nice nades. Zombie dude finding the spray and prey headshot on the fewer. What a nice shot there, making it a four before as nades just kept getting flown at him. He was uh, bobbing and weaving like crazy. Finally going to go down to Wilhelm. But the fact that he was able to pull that frag off was absolutely huge. Nicely done there from Zombie Dude. That's a good a good feeling for your first one of the game. Zebek looking like he's hacking if something was ha if someone was actually there. But uh, he's looking to get those, those ban charges down the wall. And... Ah, fair enough. 
Big Papa gets one. Not, not too happy about that uh, headshot <laughs> out there, but Wilhelm uh, taking some damage back. Just getting hit, and the Melissa slowing him down, and he can't really do much against it, so he's just gonna retreat back into that rear stage. Well, going open, and Wilhelm's actually gonna go down to Big Papa, finds himself a double kill here, making it three on two. Attackers drop the diffuser. Yeah, Saints looking to get at least one more on the board before half time and they have the numbers advantage. Granted, Big Papa is a little bit sore. Just over half health remaining. Now, let's see, where is Cyanide? Where is Zebek? Cyanide actually has a sight line on the bomb site itself, and Zebek's on the other angle. So I like this crossfire here for the side of Champlain. Numbers advantage doesn't mean anything if you walk into the corner and just get mowed over. Saints did have that uh, standard camera right in range. Did Cyanide see the player? Did get a it's just that the player's right there. But of course, the soft wall is just out of position. Zebek's going to move forward, fires away. He's going to go down. But it's going to be all up to Cyanide, and they know where he is. Big Papa going to finish this one off. And a really good round for St. Clair, even though they knew that they were down that um, one player in the round. And um, if you were getting really cocky, knowing it's a five on four, and going to be a pause here so that we can get Chars back in the game. Hopefully. Yeah. Just a game crash <laughs> rather than an Aaron at DC. That's going to be a little worse. I think I hit pause, right? Okay. Yes, it is pause. It always goes down to three seconds just oh, okay. before. Okay, I got baited there for a second. I was kind of worried. So here, I'm going to throw it to us actually real quick while we do a wait for the... Uh... Player. I think it was Char. Yeah, it was Charles actually who DC. So mm -hmm. okay, this is kind of going similarly to what we were probably expecting, but at the same time, it's not as bad as what we were, or at least personally, what I was expecting. Like I had made the prediction, of course, prior to us going in that this was going to be five one at the half. Saints are proving me wrong, and we got around. Yeah, got ourselves another one, and. Like I said before, I love to be wrong, so this is a okay, especially if it means that the Saints are doing better than. I guess predicted in this situation here. Because right now, Champlain, mm -hmm. they were on an absolute tear. But at least they find themselves one. And they won that one 4v5 too, eh? So that's like just another uh, awesome thing to note for that. But one more side of defense. Then Saints have to attack here on Oregon. And then Saints attack on Oregon has been a uh, lack to be desired to say so far. Questionable. But, yeah. It. But granted, a lot of it just came down to like lack of strategy, lack of uh, maybe execution. Because there was a lot of times mm -hmm. where they would just kind of dive in like one at a time. They would try to go for a multi-pronged attack, but their timing would be completely off. So even if it was just one player, it's like, oh, I take you down, I turn around, I take you down, am I, am I okay? But mm -hmm. that kind of stuff can be shaped up nice and quick just with a couple practices. So yeah, I'm, and I'm hopeful that they can take care of that. Yeah, and from the looks of it, back to that laundry as it's reopened now, and a good thing is that they did their first win back in round two was on this laundry, so or round three, my mistake, was on that laundry, so hopefully they can make that uh, miracle come back around and keep it so it's a even halftime at three and three, which would prove us all wrong and thinking they are going to get just completely dumpstered in seven one again. <coughs> Yeah, like, it, it's hard, right? Because there's so many, like, we see it time and time again. Like, I don't mean to constantly sound like I'm downplaying our guys, by all means. I'm just going off of, like, what we've been, what we've been seeing so far in the last couple couple days, even. Last couple weeks, maybe, even. Because, like, mm -hmm. Saints, they have their moments of brilliance, but I don't know if they've just run up against two solid teams or, or like, like top-level teams for their, their leagues or what. Because it's unusual to see them go down, like, seven... Seven one during rounds, unless it was Oregon. <laughs> so that's the only time yeah. that there's ever been the exception where it was obviously like a team that was their level. The only other time that that seven one happened was because of Oregon. But yeah, and yeah. with with Oregon actually coming in to being now round uh, game one or two instead of that decider match, it's a bit more uh, stressful for the Saints to keep up.
Absolutely, and looks like Charles is still having himself a little bit of difficulties here. There is a possibility of a rehost moving forward, but we'll keep you posted on that. One thing I'm actually curious about. I wonder what she all voted. Is the update? Oh, Which that's unfortunate. Not very good. Oh, there he is. Return. Oh, there he is. Okay, it was just a mere flicker then. Okay. Okay, and he is locked in. Just double checking that everybody is good to go. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna most likely be the double R there, and we're gonna resume it back into round six of this there we go. three series okay everybody is good to go charles is back on in gonna be on the malusi as well so he didn't get auto picked an operator or anything like that now one thing i found rather interesting and a lot of y'all might be right as of right now because of course you're asking in the predictions who do you think is going to have the higher kda at the end of this first game or out of the second game rather 86 percent of you have been voting for kira so, as of right now, y'all are right, but it's still completely within range here. How many people uh, swap votes because Char's power went out? It would have been too late. I only put the timer on for 15 minutes of the game. It's been, uh, uh, I think it's been more than 15 minutes, so haha, <laughs> you can't switch now. But thankfully, uh, Char's score line is actually still here, so it's a. Uh, I mean, that. he just needs two kills and he's tied, technically, and mm. deaths don't matter. It's the amount of. Uh, kills you get so and i'm also looking at assists too so it's it's uh he's technically tied or almost he's only one he's, away he's there. just a he's... point away yeah so yeah <laughs> attackers are heading out to interesting bomb. enough attackers but now we're back into the attacking side of things here for sean plane well, one round away from uh from the switch saints trying to tie this thing up while they're still on the defensive side because attacking is notoriously difficult here in Rainbow Six Siege. I really like the amount of aggression that Fior has on these people like Ash and uh, the Zofia just just going straight in. Like he's already inside Freezer within the first 30 seconds. This shouldn't be allowed. And I, he's not really getting punished for it, you know? He has Ben Bloom behind him. Uh, in case something goes south and he gets fragged, and it's gonna be Kira going down to Fewer in Freezer. He's just spray a bit, barely missing the head of whoever is at the far back, which I believe is Impact. Wow! A zombie dude, actually, just gonna stand up and get hit. There's Charge on the ping here. They know where he is, but it's gonna be Fewer taking some damage from a distance. Charge in a pretty bad spot. If he's not able to get out, he's just gonna get pinched. The nade pushing him out. He's actually gonna push real close to him. Fewer getting a triple kill here. Could this be the ace he's looking for? The girl should going down. Big Papa finding a kill. It's gonna be the quad feed for Fewer, and he knows where this last person is. Wow. It's gonna be the ace for Fewer. Back to back games. Oh my goodness, this guy is so aggressive, but it's not reckless. It's interesting to see how absolutely insane Fewer has been in this series without looking like careless and it's wonderful to see yeah he's just really punishing just any any slight misstep from st Clair, they just he just instantly acts upon it and just takes control of the entire situation they just don't give um st Clair a, a second to breathe ever they get a kill and they get instantly refragged back Yeah, so absolutely brutal. It's going to be 2-4 here at the half. Now we got St. Clair on the attacking side of things. We'll get to see how they can pull off against this uh, Champlain College kids dorm hold here on the second floor. And Kira going to be taking the six from the sledge to the twitch. Interestingly enough here. Attackers need to locate and, and they did bomb. switch. Uh, ben off the Maestro 2 of Valkyrie. Which you don't see much very often on a uh, site, especially kids' dorms. Usually the Maestro is just so impactful of having his cans, but since they're stuck in that one spot of, and they're pretty pretty uh, massive, so you just know where they are. A little Valk cam in the corner is most likely going to be a better bet for them to 
keeps some eyes in sight. And as much as you love having like a gigantic machine gun that you never have to reload ever, just having the mobility and the opportunity at defense or aggression from uh, from Valkyrie is just nice to have. It's looking like he's gonna throw that cam far. Yeah, he's gonna throw it out into the tree line actually, in the front yard. And since everyone's spawning on construction, Saint Clair has no idea that that cam's going out. Ben's gonna put a pre prep this door for a possible run out. And here's his cam. Not the, not the best cam, you know. A little bit too many leaves on the tree, but um, you can still see some people if they get up on that rooftop. Has one in that closet as well. Beside fewer and another one down in uh, the staircase. And Big Papa gonna be the first one into the building. It looks like off we go. It's a matter of droning everything out. Charles is gonna start trying to plow through this ball. So and the unfortunate for Charles. <laughs> That's gonna be the second He's really time. Hoping Second yeah. time in two days, the classic, uh, <laughs> um, I don't even know how to actually call this here, just, we'll call that a murder hole for now, to say the least, but fewer hitting, popped on, nearly going down, but hanging on by a thread. Nitrocell not gonna Ooh, find this... its mark. Wow. I don't know if that was a hard floor or not, but that C4 looked like it was right on top of someone. That's gonna be both C4s actually sent right on the bridge there. They have an angle from below, so... One's watching the hole in the wall, the other watching above, keeping some good eyes there. The St. Clair not really pushing it. Yeah, and what it looked like what Charles was trying to do, he's trying to get a little hole there, but didn't realize that it goes up rather than sideways, so wasn't able to uh, get it how he wanted to. But he's going to get the rest of his ex Karos on the wall in the closet, almost getting his head taken off by the Bumai. But the minute left, St. Clair's going to have to start looking at where they want to breach an attack. A couple of these Saints players in a rather scary spot, and Fewer is actually nearby, ready to shark some of these players. It does not matter that he has like 5 HP left. He is ready to make the flank and make the play. Have to see in a moment. Impact. We're going to start getting things moving here. That was a... Sh Something got thrown in there, but it's actually going to be Kira who finds the first elimination of this round. As Cyanide does go down, the smoke is no longer in play. So a solid frag actually coming out here for St. Clair to get that smoke off the board. And hello from the window. That is going to be a kill for Velheim. But then Big Papa and Kira are going to answer right back. We do have ourselves a four on two. But then Bibulin is still in play alongside Sebek. And these two have been absolutely tearing it through most of this series. Charles does manage to get this diffuser down. Is going to be able to get it. But Impact goes down. So does Sebek, however. It's going to be all on Ben Bibulin try and get the defuse and eliminations against Kira and Chars. And Bambi going really low, but oh, if he's able him. to find it, but he's actually not going to. Chars finding the kill onto Bambi Bowling and finding that third round for St. Clair. Fourth round, my mistake. <laughs> A good little angle there. And the battle's still on. Chars and Kira, the last two alive. It's crazy how that ends up happening here. Maybe, I like to think that maybe me trolling them here in the Twitch chat is actually lighting a fire under their rear and getting them to both pop off as they both have themselves a solid round nonetheless here. And this attack, not too bad. This game is definitely within reach. Three to four is absolutely nothing easy to come back from. And it's nice to see a nice competitive match here on Oregon from our Saints. Yeah, and... Finally, uh, finding some footing in these attack rounds compared to yes, uh, yesterday when they had mm. their Oregon map. So, a bit of a sigh of relief there for the fans watching. It's going to be the last second six pick from Twitch to IQ. Very interesting. As they look to go back to the same side. And most likely the IQ will be underneath hoping to get these. Most likely spot to the IQ because they know that they're going to take the Valkyrie. I don't believe that was a six, unless I believe that may have been a six pick uh, to the Valken. They knew it was going to happen, so. Yeah, I think the six was over onto Cyanide's mute this time by, so. Um, not going to know that at least that is the play this time. 
but yeah, same sight, and we'll probably see. Oh, you hate to see it, <laughs> but at least there's only like a little tickle of damage. The oh, it wasn't a TK like usual. <laughs> yeah, you mean you weren't testing your recoil and dinking your own teammate in the head? <laughs> you mean we weren't pulling the classic TK on a big pop this time? Not this time. Sadly. Hey, we still have a couple rounds Caster's left in this game, though. Yes, Cass's curse comes in. <laughs> you never know. I may, I may just have to PayPal impact a couple dollars to uh, <laughs> oh, God. hit another TK. <laughs> Big Papa would be livid, but it'd be funny. I won't lie. Hey, if they if they make a six four, I'll pay, I'll PayPal them like five bucks to TK Big Papa. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, defensively, this right. Champlain squad looking sound. Normally, I don't give a lot of camera time to the defenders off the start of rounds, but given tr the track record of Fuhr and Bedby Boolin, I'm kind of just hovering over, just wondering what are they planning on trying here. You see, I think that was Fuhrer just constantly looking at one specific area, possibly a dive site in a moment. You have Hira moving forward from another angle, trying to find some gadgets. I'm able to do so. Charles, once again, is going to be working on this opening, this time getting the right amount of x to be able to walk through that. Yeah. Learning from his mistake last time, uh, not <laughs> properly able to get it, but... Now they can get through onto that bridge and start the breach properly this time. Zombie dude making some noise, a giving him start. something out. Yeah, a bit of a slow start for the first 90 seconds. It doesn't look like anyone's actually holding this bridge uh, like St. Clair does so hard, so. Definitely. Oh, Kira actually already inside Master here, pushing him a bit. Looking for a possible <laughs> if he only to rotate knew. on anyone from the main stairs. Not As casters, we can see outlines, but they cannot. Exactly. Now, actually, Charles doesn't quite realize this, but he might be able to get the jump on somebody if he does end up uh, pulling off this murder hole once again. And Big Papa going to start things off strong. He does find fewer. Taking him off the board nice and early is absolutely huge. Yeah, good pick for uh, Big Papa to find on a fewer. Taking out the top frag. And uh, Zebek finding some damage onto him from Kira, I believe. Bring him down to half HP to throw another Wamai gadget right there. And Kira's looking to pop in. Zombie dude chucking some nades in sight, but the Wamai gadget gonna reset that and pop it right above him. Big Papa finds some damage. Kira gonna go down to Zebek. Charis is gonna go down while playing the Fuser. Cyanide taking a refrag. Impact is finding two people. Big Papa pushing in alongside him. Finding someone in that closet doing some damage. It's gonna be Big Papa resetting on the Diffuser. It's gonna be Wilhelm finding Zombie Dude, but he doesn't know he's in the wow. closet. He's gonna get a double kill with the Deagle. Give it to him. And Champlin finding their fifth round. You hardly ever see the pistol come out, yet alone get yourself a double kill with it. Ben B. Boolin off to a fantastic series once again. Can't stress it enough here. And they pull that one back. Saints back on the back foot, two rounds away. And. It's looking rough, to say the least. Yeah, a bit of a miscommunication look like that. They knew that person was in the closet, and they tried to hold it, but I don't think uh, Zombie Dude really knew where he was. So, he kind of just got picked off, and uh, Big Papa on the plant just wasn't able to get off in time to refrag. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Right. We're gonna go down to that basement now since they did win upstairs and it's gonna be a pretty standard uh, take now with Fewer on his Malusi along with the Smoke, Mute, Mai, and Jagger. Um, not much room for the Saints to try and make anything uh, happen. No room for mistakes, or very little room for mistakes, rather. Definitely keeping the Champlain College squad honest, but still a waste to go if they want to end up taking this one down. Let's see how they can do here. 
in the laundry room. Everybody grouped up and ready to go together and see if they can death ball it. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh... Oh! Sampling... Oh. Last round. If you were gonna find himself the nice right? early kill. Yeah. A nice little spawn peek there. Onto Big Papa. It's a lot of their soft breach right there just gone. Now they're really relying on the uh, Zofia. One of St. Clair's big top frags right now. Just taken out in the first few seconds. And mm, I believe that's Impact just barely uh, almost getting his head clipped by fewer on a I basically like, a pixel peak. I feel like that's a weird spot to try and sit on a drone, so thankfully for, for Impact, he's A-OK -okay in this situation, but now Clumby Dude gonna try and get a little bit of damage. It does go on to Ben B. Bullen, but just a little tag. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, Actually, most likely fewer. Work. That is fewer Ooh. up against Impact, nearly taking him down. He may just, if he just tosses a C4 out there, he just, he's gonna find at least two people, possibly, but... He's gonna fall back and play it safe. Zofia charge going off and not finding anybody on impact. It's gonna be the last 70 seconds. Or looking, they're gonna toss an 8 impact, actually very low, taking a lot of damage. Gonna toss a few flashbangs in there. And be bull and taking some trades. It's gonna be fewer finding three, but it's gonna get retraded by Zombie Dude. Huge for fewer. That's gonna be another one going down, but traded straight back. St. Clair running out of players. That's gonna be match point for Champlin. I mean, look at that last screenshot there. Everybody just piled on that front door as if it was gonna end up do some end up doing something. Like four bodies all littered that front door and just did not work. St. Clair on match point, or match rather, Champlain College on match point to take the series if they can get themselves one more win here after a defense on this kitchen dining hall section. Yeah, and the big difference between uh, St. Cl uh, St. Clair's attack round on basement compared to uh, Champlain's, they... St. Clair is very dedicated to getting that uh, blue hall take. They did not really send anyone uh, off to that freezer to try and flank it all, so they just committed five players to it, just got picked off one by one as they peeked that doorway, and just not working out, but Doc staying for a back. Attackers need to locate and when you see a Doc, you see a spawn peak, so... You know exactly what's going to happen here, yeah. Especially yep. since other teammates of his have already been... Kind of setting the precedent that uh, you should expect some spawn peaks. So Zebek, not going to get it on the fun a little bit. Sitting there with five kills for himself this game. Not too shabby, but it definitely does get overshadowed when you see like, fewer just popping off there. 14 already in this in this game alone. Next highest only being Bambi Bullet with nine kills. On the side of St. Clair, we have Big Papa with nine as well as Kira followed up. And in the lead for the challenge, but Char is only two points behind him. Not completely impossible to do, but seems everybody's already rooting for Kira. Now, where is Zebek right now? He does actually have himself a bit of a oh cheeky angle. Boy. Cyanide Don't do it to him. Well, I am looking to get aggressive, maybe two. They found him, actually. Ooh. Nice shot coming out from Impact. Calling that out. Not going to get caught by Zebek's shenanigans. He's been playing solid all day. The moment he tries something cheeky, he just gets absolutely punished for it. And it's yeah, probably like, fewer, why did you talk me been... into this? <laughs> yeah, I think it may have been pre-droned from the looks of it. Or either Impact was expecting a spawn peek, or they pre-droned it and knew he was up there, so... A good uh, reaction from Impact to find it, and taking out the dock was pretty big. Yeah, nobody's getting healed this time by now. Just up the rest of the members of St. Clair to try and pull this off, as we see. 
Chop lane down one player, so plenty of time as long as they can keep themselves safe. And fewer, if there's anybody you're going to rely on, it's Old Faithful. You are going to find Big Papa taking out the Saints lead fragger while still keeping himself nice and healthy. Yeah, and he's going to just find these players on these angles and just takes every single fight he can find. Sounds like he's trading a bit with one per person on the shower. If he walks a bit further, he may find someone on that window. Takes a half, a half his HP. Doesn't really find any damage in return. But he's not really aware Ooh. that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice little one tap. Champlin just finding every single one tap here. Right? He's gonna find another one. Could this be another ace for him? Nitro Cell! Before coming out. Oh, but he's gonna find the quad feet. He wasn't able to hit the switch on the Nitro Cell. There it goes, but it's all up to Kira. Oh so it's my goodness. It's gonna be a nice little headshot. The ace to finish it out for Champlin. 7 3. Oh my goodness. Three aces in this series here for fewer. Guy is just on an absolute nother level here today, playing out of his damn mind. But alongside him and the rest of the squad, that's going to be 2-0 in the favor of Champlain College. Granted, as we switch back to us here for a moment here, it's a, a better showing on, uh, on Oregon, but at the same time, it was just um, with Fuhrer almost having 20 kills that game, sat there with 19 Mm -hmm. It does make me wonder, like, if you're playing up against a team of the same caliber, but it's not all just one superstar of sorts, how would that game would have looked? But we'll never get to figure that one out here today, because we have to deal with the match, of course, that is right here in front of us, and um, you are just absolutely winning 90% of the gunfights he finds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just completely tearing apart uh, St. Clair through that entire game. Finding yourself three aces, two in the same match, and not far apart. I believe there's only two rounds apart there, and just crazy coming out from him. Absolutely brutal. And then for the Saints side of things, that one's going to hurt a little bit as well. It always hurts to go down, um, or any loss, let alone two in a row across two different leagues. but. This is the, the pleasure of the fact that this is just basically the start of the season. They still have plenty mm -hmm. of time to regroup them. I know we can be a little bit hard on them here on the, the Saints cast, but it's only because we want them to do well. And at the end of the day, we still have to keep things neutral. We'll still have to call a spade a spade. And right now, again, I've been throwing this word around a lot across multiple matches, but clinic was exactly what we saw there from Champlain, specifically out of fewer, but at the same time, I don't want to discredit the rest of the Champlain College squad. They did exactly what they needed to do, and especially, like, Vil Vilheim and Cyanide. Like, we didn't see them on the kill feed very often, but they were always droning, pulling things out. And then, mm -hmm. um, there are two players, of course, uh, Bullen and, uh, Zan, oh god, I already forgot, Zan something. Um, he already... Is the back. It's a back, that's it. It's a back was doing a fantastic job as well. Find themselves on the kill feed when they needed to. But otherwise, they just kept to the objective. And they looked rather nice here today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a solid 2-0 uh, from the side of Champlin. And something to be proud of. And on the side of St. Clair, you can be proud. You know, you took uh, you finally took some more rounds on Oregon. Uh, it wasn't... Mm -hmm. The complete 7-1 uh, stomp from, like, yesterday, but, you know, you did. they did uh, find their footing for a little bit and were able to fight back, and in the end, it did not work out in their favor, but... Yeah, up until halftime... Finding something. Up until halftime, they were keeping it, actually, rather mm -hmm. close. It didn't seem like that was going to be the case at first, but it did end up being a 4-3 a game, like, like, I think around after the after half but then first attack went well and then it just kind of fell apart from there but it's all right yeah. there's still plenty of season left to go here in the face of rainbow six siege collegiate championships as well as the cr6 league that they just started of course last night and speaking of the season itself going to quickly hop on over and take a look at what is coming up next here on the saints gaming ca channel for matches happy valentine's day to us we have ourselves a counter-strike match Base it CSGO Contenders at 5 p.m. 
Then Monday, we're back with the Upsurge Minor League for some additional League of Legends action. Tuesday, 8 p.m., Call of Duty Cold War doubleheader, 8 p.m. and 9.30, respectively. And that 9.30 match, like I was saying before, that's versus the University of Windsor. We obviously want to take that one as uh, decisively as possible, to say the least, with all due respect. <laughs> and on Wednesday, some more playoff League of Legends. We actually get to go play Conestoga once again. We have just played them last Thursday, but now it's playoff time. Let's see if we can show some more domination to the poor Condors. Then on Thursday, as of right now, it does depend on what happens with the Collegiate League of Legends playoffs. But I have penciled in, as of this moment, Overwatch NECC action. But if the League of Legends team does win on uh, Wednesday, they would play Thursday as well. And I will prioritize playoff matches first. Overwatch, their season's just getting started as well. We'll still see them a bunch. So don't you worry. I know there's a few people who have been... Uh, been itching to get some overwatch on the broadcast and same here to be honest love overwatch but in due time my friends in due time it shall show up and it'll be exciting nonetheless now any final thoughts here matt before we do look to close things out here for tonight uh i don't think so no i think definitely uh st Clair to be a bit proud about how they um they played that first half on or on Oregon. They cleaned up some of their uh, some of their m mess ups on defense and able to fight back, especially against such a tough opponent like uh, Champlin was. Uh, but I think every time we see them on Oregon, we always downplay them, but they're slowly coming back up, and eventually they'll be able to maybe win it one day. One day, the right team at the right place at the right time. Oregon will. We will find Griffin victory. And speaking of victory, actually, for all of the players who, or all the people in the chat, rather, who were doing their predictions between Charles or Kira, who has the better KD, it did end up going to Kira in the end. So thank you for playing. This is going to be something that we're going to try and keep doing here for the Twitch chat. Just a nice little extra mini game to like spark friendly rivalries amongst each other and just have a little bit of extra fun. It's not meant to be a specific player comparison to one another i don't want to get toxic like that so we're just ha here to have some fun so use it wisely please <laughs> but with that just a couple more thank yous before we do close out once again thank you to the sponsors of course st Clair college uh, st Clair college alumni association st Clair src tim hortons Zuckelman school of business and it and pc outlet Thank you for your support and sponsoring the St. Clair Saints Varsity Esports team. Big thank you to Matt once again for joining me for this doubleheader. It's been a long day of action, but it's been fun. I hope you had fun as well. Yeah, it's always a great time being here. And sad it was a, a sweep in league today. Uh, reverse sweep for uh, against the squad and a 2-0 against our R6. But, you know, maybe next weekend we'll get that doubleheader 2-0. Uh, Absolutely. And then a big thank you, of course, to everybody in the chat or everybody on the stream tuning in and supporting your friends, family members, or classmates, or just the teams in general. Thank you for supporting their esports endeavors as we move forward in making collegiate esports as awesome as it could possibly be. But with that, we will close out for tonight. Thank you once again for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow at 5 for some Counter-Strike.